Hello everyone. I welcome you all for this lecture series on chemical equilibrium and physical equilibrium. Uh, this series of lectures is actually arranged uh, for the UG students of Department of Chemistry, DG Vaishnav College. Okay, uh, let, let's get into the topic. So, in lecture 1, I am going to discuss uh, the introductory ideas of chemical equilibrium. Okay, uh, first of all, first of all, uh, what is mean by equilibrium? What is mean by equilibrium? When we can say a system exists in equilibrium. A system, a system exists in equilibrium. Okay, if the variables associated with the system uh, remains constant or it is independent of time. Okay, if the variables, if the variables associated with the system, right. Uh, independent of time, if it is independent of time, if it is independent of time, then we can say that the system exists in equilibrium, right? In equilibrium, we classify equilibrium into two. Number one, static equilibrium, static equilibrium, and number two, dynamic equilibrium static dynamic what is meant by static equilibrium static equilibrium is one where uh, at equilibrium there is no moment okay say for example uh, if i keep a vessel right on a floor like this if i keep a vessel on a floor like this this vessel remains in the same position okay uh, for long period of time Right? If you don't apply any external force, this object remains in the same position for a long period of time. And in this object, see, there is no moment. Okay, We call this equilibrium as static equilibrium. Whereas, there are uh, some equilibrium, uh, spe say specifically chemical equilibrium or physical equilibrium, where uh, particles or the reaction, some moment will be there. Right, we can say simply some moments will be there. Even though the moments uh, exist, the system remains in equilibrium. We call this type of equilibrium as dynamic equilibrium. Okay, uh, this word dynamic equilibrium is very much suitable for uh, uh, chemical and physical equilibrium reactions. Okay, so I'll give uh, much more. Uh, clarity on dynamic equilibrium as we go along in this lecture okay then so our focus is mainly on chemical equilibrium now chemical equilibrium okay right listen we classify chemical reactions we classify chemical reactions into two one is reversible reaction first one is reversible reaction and the other one is irreversible reaction we classify chemical reactions into two reversible reactions and irreversible reactions what are reversible reactions uh, suppose you take some reactant, this reactant under a given set of condition reacts to give some product. Under the same set of condition, if the product can also react and gives back the reactant, okay, then we call this type of reaction as a reversible reaction. Okay, So reversible reaction we can say simply like this, 
reversible reaction will occur in both the direction that is in the forward direction as well as in the backward direction so if a reaction occurs in the forward direction as well as in the backward direction under a given set of condition we call this type of reactions as reversible reactions then what are irreversible reaction if reaction occurs only in one direction see say here reactant gives only product product never uh, gives back the reactant under the same set of conditions this type of reaction is what we call as irreversible reactions now um, here i like to give one information that are the reversible reactions are the reversible reactions can be called as reversible process are these two are same definitely not they are not same reversible reactions reversible process the two terms are actually different okay we used the word uh, reversible process in thermodynamics what does it indicate okay listen say say uh, i'll take one, uh, one example here see h2o liquid giving h2o gas right this is a reversible reaction suppose if i keep pressure as 1 bar and if i keep the temperature at uh, uh, 373 kelvin 373 kelvin is the boiling point of water at this pressure and at this temperature this reaction uh, can be called as a reversible reaction and at this pressure at this temperature okay we can also call this process as a reversible process this is this can be called as a reversible process because at this temperature at this pressure okay this process occurs extremely slowly so we can call this as a reversible process right suppose i'll take the same uh, same reversible reaction say h2o liquid giving h2o gas but now i'm going to keep uh, pressure as 1 bar but i'm going to keep the temperature as uh, say for example 400 kelvin at this pressure at this temperature okay yeah this reaction um, may occur in a reversible manner okay it is a reversible we can call it as a reversible reaction but this reversible reaction should not be called as a reversible process this is not a reversible process 